Okay, welcome back to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com and on my continuing troubleshooting video on this LG G5, I wanted to make sure I checked everything I could before I wipe out uh, the phone and do a factory reset. And you know, the reason why I'm doing this video is number one, obviously I'm not happy with what's happening. Um, but also number two, if anybody else has these problems, then I'm hoping that these videos will help, you know, and um, I know that it's not the most important thing in the world to have your smartphone have a problem. But, you know, when you've invested all this money and then on top of it, it's it's my main phone. This is my phone. It is what I use and it's pretty much my work uh, computer as well. And so it is important. And so um, that's why I wanted to go over this. So uh, first and foremost, you know, it is vertical. And as you could tell, right here um, the actual auto rotate is on uh, but as you can uh, see it it doesn't work uh, well you can't see but what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna force it to go landscape because right now as you're watching this it's only vertical and it doesn't fill up your whole screen so I'm gonna do that by going to Nova settings okay and um, I'm gonna force it to go landscape and when you do this it doesn't use the accelerometer or anything okay so now, as you'll see, as you probably see, the whole screen is wide now in the uh, landscape. Now, um, what I did since the last video is I downloaded some additional apps to make sure that it is my sensors and it's nothing else. So, a uh, popular one is CPU-Z. So, I opened that up and um, let me see if we could go to system and uh, there is sensors, right? Oops, I'm sorry. That's not it. Sensors. And, uh, you know... The bottom ones, nothing's there. Okay, you don't see any values at all. But the uh, light and proximity, those things work. Okay, let's try this one. This Droid Info. Uh, if I go to uh, sensors, uh, let me wave my hand over the light and see it detected. See the numbers are different there, but nothing there. And then uh, I also downloaded this other one, Advanced Tools. That's a pretty popular one. Um, Let's go ahead and go to sensors. Okay, so compass is your gyroscope. Okay, so uh, nothing detected. Not good. And then let's go ahead and uh, try the accelerometer. Nothing detected. And finally, the magnetic field detector, which was the uh, mag magnetometer. Oh man, I can't say that right. And you know, even when I refresh it, nothing works. Okay. And um, I did go online, and you know, since the LG G5 is a new phone, about the only thing I could find on, find on it was on uh, this Recombo site. Um, they talk about using a code which doesn't work. It's a service code, but I think it's been disabled by T-Mobile. And uh, also resetting it, and you know, also, uh, you know, one thing that they say was you could try to hit your phone, uh, which I'm not going to do. Okay, so uh, besides the LG G5, I, I found like a lot of known issues with the LG G3 and its screen rotation problems, okay? And so uh, this has been a problem with previous LG phones and that's just really not good quality, you know? Um, some people are saying all you have to do is just bump it or drop it. I'm not going to do that and on top of it, that should not be what causes the problem. I mean, I mean, if you simply dropping the phone from a few feet, even if it's in a case, and that causes this problem, that just is not good quality. That's just qualitative issues, especially on a flagship phone. And so um, I think I've done pretty much all that I can before I do the actual hard reset, uh, factory reset, but some people said even that's not going to work because it is a uh, hardware related issue And so, um, you know, if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to go to the manufacturer and go through with the warranty and so forth. So hopefully um, <clears throat> That's not the case, but it looks more and more like it is. So I hope you found this video helpful Especially if you do have an LG G5 and that you're facing similar problems. If you are, uh, please leave your comments and ideas below and share that so then, you know, maybe this could help other people. Thanks for checking out this episode. 
And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.